Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Oak Knoll Troll. I bring to you another Star Wars Galaxy tutorial. This video's focus is on traveling throughout the galaxy. In this video, I'm going to cover a very basic shuttle boarding macro. After that, I'm going to introduce you to the syntax, which is a set of rules that you must follow when you're purchasing any tickets through the ticket traveling system. Next, I will cover the shuttle naming convention, which is very critical to the syntax as you're purchasing tickets. To sum everything up, what I'm going to do is execute an alias that I've already created. It's going to purchase four different tickets. It's going to take me from Locke all the way to Dantooine using the auto board macro. How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Here we are on Locke as the sun is rising, and we're going to be traveling from here to Dantooine. And we're going to be doing it through a macro and an alias. So first, we're going to create a macro. I'm going to hit new macro, I'm going to type in BO, that's what we're going to call it, and we're going to execute the command slash BO, which is short for board, which if you have a ticket, we'll use the ticket. And we're going to give an eight second pause, and then we're going to loop it by doing slash M space BO. For that, we're going to select an icon, hit OK. And then from there, we're going to drag it into our toolbar so we can execute it. You can also execute it in your chat window by typing slash M Base BO. So right here is the syntax for purchase ticket. Purchase ticket it takes a few different variables for it to execute. So the first one is purchase ticket followed by the starting planet followed by the name of the shuttle port or the town name and then the destination planet and town name. Now optional is single. You could, if you don't use single, it'll buy two tickets, so be careful. But right now, if you're traveling from any player city, you just want to use player city name. You don't have to add shuttle port or star port. It's just the name of the town. And if there's any spaces, use an underscore. So Tatooine, we're going to Tatooine, like Bestine starport. It's going to be Bestine underscore starport. Now, everything is a starport except for one location, which is in Thede, which is the Thede spaceport. That's the only one you ever have to differentiate between all the other starports on the planet. So, from here, what we're going to do, my alias is going to take us from Locke to Bestine to Corellia, and then following our destination planet, Dantooine. So, you see that I have it up there. And what I'm gonna do is type into my chat the alias that I just created. So I'm gonna type in slash I N P O Dant. And there you have it. It just does those four purchase tickets. You can see I've got lock to Nims. I'm sorry. And then into Nims, Nims to Bestine. Then from Bestine to Cornet. Then from Cornet, we're gonna be going to the Agro Outpost. So I'm going to close all this, hit escape, and I'm going to execute our board macro that we just created. All right, there we go. And great timing too, We're 11 seconds away. So our macro, if you remember, it was pause of eight seconds. So it's going to execute the BO, which is going to try to board. And once again, does more seconds. Of course, if you play the game, you're going to know it's going to land, and then it's going to take a few more seconds before we're actually able to execute that video again. So here it comes. Give it a second, and then we're going to let the macro run. After it executes, it uses the ticket. So where it puts you when you get to your destination, it's going to be random. But sometimes you get really lucky and your character is placed closer to the ticket collector and then you can auto i guess you can automatically without having to move you will go to the next planet and when that happens it executes it's almost um seamless you won't even see it like you'll have two loading screens back to back if you have like a, a two second loading screen it will now be a little bit longer like five seconds because it's going back to back but Luckily for me, um, the timing actually worked out. Location kind of worked out. I wasn't too far. I only had to run a little bit when I was going from where I spawned in on to the ticket collector. Now, when you run, 
it's gonna take a few seconds and you may have to wait depending on the timing of the different shell ports on the different cities. You might have to wait you know, up to a minute or so. It's a lot easier and faster than having to run to each single ticket collector and then go to each ticket purchasing station to buy something. When you know you're going on like a known route, say your your house is on Rory and then you like to go to the improved job it's on Dantooine out of uh, fanfare because it's an improved job market where you like to kill shamans and mocks. So if you have these known routes from where you're farming to where you go and drop your loot, you will want to create these aliases because now you just have to type in Dant to home or whatever you want to call it and then it's going to execute that purchase ticket and buy all your tickets so you go from one place to the other without having to spend a lot of time. One last thing that I want to leave you with, and that is if you find yourself shuttling into a starport and you don't have a ticket, instead of running all the way around, run into this corner. It's going to put you within range of the ticket terminal so you could run your alias or you could type out in the chat bar, purchase ticket and your destination. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment below if there's something in game that you would like for me to cover. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.